Today in this video, we are going to solve the sixth problem from RMO 2017. RMO is Regional Mathematics Olympiad. It takes place every year in India. I know when I say Olympiad, everything sounds a bit scary, but believe me guys, I am going to solve this problem using basic mathematical concepts. So I encourage you to pick your pen and paper and start solving it try to solve then come back to my video to understand my solving process okay so we have x y z all are real numbers and all are greater than one we have to prove the inequality you can see on the screen so let's start simplifying the inequality, what we have to prove. First, let's take everything to the left hand side. Then pair those similar looking terms together. So we have x plus 1 by y plus 1 minus x minus 1 by y minus 1 plus y plus 1 by z plus 1 minus y minus 1 by z minus 1 plus the last bracket is z plus 1 by x plus 1 minus z minus 1 by x minus 1. The whole expression less equals to 0. Now simplify each bracket. You will get 2 times y minus x by y square minus 1 plus 2 times z minus y by z square minus 1 plus 2 times x minus z by x square minus 1. The whole expression less equals to 0. Then we can divide each side by 2 and we get y minus x by y square minus 1 plus z minus y by z square minus 1 plus x minus z by x square minus 1 less equals to 0. Let's go to next page and simplify this even further. So now we are going to break x minus z into two parts x minus y plus y minus z. Since I have added one y and subtracted one y, so the x minus z expression stays unchanged. Now we are going to break this fraction in the green square in two parts x minus y by x square minus 1 plus y minus z by x square minus 1. The rest of the inequality stays same. Now we are gonna again pair similar terms. So y minus x by y square minus 1 plus x minus y by x square minus 1 is in one bracket and in the second bracket we got z minus y by z square minus 1 plus y minus z by x square minus 1. The whole expression less equals to 0. Okay. Now look at the second fraction of the first bracket. You can see x minus y in the numerator. We can make it y minus x and one negative sign will come out. And similar thing happens to the second bracket when we try to convert y minus z into z minus y. So the final form we got is y minus x by y square minus 1 minus y minus x by x square minus 1 plus z minus y by z square minus 1 minus z minus y by x square minus 1 less equals to 0. Now we just have to prove this simplified inequality to prove the main inequality. Now let's get to proving it. Now we are gonna make three cases for the relations between x, y and z. The case 1 is we are going to assume x less than y less than z. Well, you can choose any other relations between x, y, z where there is no equality between these three and you will get the same results. So we have y greater than x. That means y minus x greater than 0. Again, from y greater than x, we can get y square greater than x square. And from that we can get y square minus 1 greater than x square minus 1. If we take reciprocals of both sides, the greater than sign becomes less than sign and we get 1 by y square minus 1 is less than 1 over x square minus 1. Now we are going to multiply both sides of this inequality by a positive term which is y minus x. So we get y minus x by y square minus 1 is less than y minus x by x square minus 1. Okay. Now take everything to the left hand side and you get y minus x by y square minus 1 minus y minus x by x square minus 1 less than 0. Name this inequation 1. Now similarly from the inequality z greater than y, we can derive z minus y by z square minus 1 minus z minus y by x square minus 1 less than 0. Name this inequation 2. Now by adding the inequalities in 1 and 2, we get this. 
and if you remember this is the simplified form of that inequality we have to prove only that had one equality sign in it let's consider the other two cases let's see what happens case 2 we are going to assume one equality is there among x y and z like x less than y equals to z that means y and z are equal but x and y are not equal and hence x and z are also not equal now from y greater than x we can get the equation 1 just like the previous case but this time for y equals to z we get z minus y by z square minus 1 minus z minus y by x square minus 1 equals to 0. Now this is because z minus y has a value of 0. Now by adding 1 and 3 we get the exact same result like the previous case because here one expression is 0 and one is negative so when you add them you get a negative answer. Case 3. The last case is x equals to y equals to z. That means all three are equal. Now using the above relation, if you try to evaluate this expression, you will get 0 because all the numerators have a value of 0 here. So if we combine case 1, 2 and 3, we get this y minus x by y square minus 1 minus y minus x by x square minus 1 plus z minus y by z square minus 1 minus z minus y by x square minus 1 less equals to 0. Now this is just the simplified form of the main inequality. So the main inequality is proved. Thanks for watching guys. Stay subscribed, hit the notification bell icon, like, share, comment and I will meet you in the next video with another interesting problem.